peace is not a battle of the sexes. Neither is it telling you to turn your lovers into exes. But if you will take your time and ponder on what this text is saying, you will realize that we might have misunderstood what really our pets is. Let me tell you about the F word. Vulgar to the minds and ears of many men and many men that they have. Forbidding this world because they fear their wives are being corrupted by the new media. It's feared by young men who feel women are running and taking over. Favored by women who feel oppressed or are too mouthed up in a tiny hole as a result of a lot of mouth. Found by young girls who feel oppression is their lot if they don't stem the tide now. Fought against by politicians who rather rot in their graves than shift their butts to create space for the women in leadership. F is for female. F is for feminine. But F is for feminism. The most searched word in the world in the year 2017. The most googled word by the oppressed, yet the most controversial word of all time that is broke every record to become the Merriam-Webster world of the year last year. A world rising from the West, speaking for every Merriam locked up in the North and every Merriam shut down in the Middle East by men who fear they are about to go down South. But the controversy of this world continues to rise and rise and rise faster than the effects of bread laden with yeasts. A world so powerful that it has turned fathers against daughters, lovers against lovers. What was meant to bring us together has now turned us against each other. They say we should fight for women's rights as society has stepped on us. And if they don't listen, we will pick up our placards. Feminism has now become a play card with which both genders oppress each other. The women say we don't need the men, we can do it on our own. The men say we need the women. We can use them for our own plaything, praying, side kicks, side cheeks to scratch the each of our big little things. So fast forward to the year 3018, when mothers will sit their worlds down and tell them fairy fairy tales by moonlight of once upon a time, there were the oppressors and the oppressed, and along the line. The oppressed became empowered. The empowered began to rise. And with the rising of the empowered, the oppressors felt oppressed. That is the end of my story. <laughs> because with the rising of female seminars here and women empowerment there, we have continued to shock the ego of the women that we have begun to develop muscles to lift the dumbbells and the barbells for the men. But the real question is, who is empowering the men? They were supposed to grow from boys to men, but with the failure of mothers who have frozen their boys and overcooked their girls, we have created a dish of conjugal unions too rocky to grind with our molars, yet too mushy to savour with our palates, when all we really asked for was a sweet, tender steak of happily forever afters. We have raised a generation of men with arrested development, stunted in their growth, too lazy to lift a pinky finger in comparison with the women who are doing sit-ups and push-ups in the gym of marital preparation. And then the mother said, submit, he is the Lord. The daughter said, I won't, he has been spoiled. He is not working for what he's worth. Every day I go to work, slaving away till my fingers hurt. He stays at home playing his ball, using my couch to grease his butt, and you tell me to accept that it's my lot? I'm sorry, mama, I know your time is submitted, but if it was worth it, why do you look so disheveled? So, with the failure of one side, the controversy around the F word began to rise such that it has been misused, misunderstood, abused, that it's so disfigured that it looks no longer like what it is. But what was it meant to be? What does feminism really mean? The dictionary says feminism is the theory of the political, economic, and social equality of the sexes. Equality of the sexes. Not battle of the sexes. Because for long ago, we have been battling for rights that have already been had but traded by mothers who decided to raise stunted men and now women are battling in marriages. And now we are faced with a face-off with 
slaps across faces, men battling wives, wives battling mistresses, senators verbally raping their female colleagues. This F word is so vulgar that it's forbidden to be uttered on the sanctimonious altar of matrimony. But for the F word to become a holy word, we must find the balance where both genders come to respect the fact that I am first human before I am woman. That if I have a brain and use it for your gain, and if he has a brain and uses it for your gain, then it's only saying that we get paid the same wage if we have invested the same pain. Wow. And if this basic equation, which is such a simple thing, does not sink in, we will continue to recycle a generation of simple things, and the woman will continue to scream, Whoa, man. We must come to respect the fact that mothers stop, need to stop raising their sons as superior while the daughters are only used as a plaything in the kitchen and in front of the mirror. We must find a neutral point where we can all work together because no gender can ever do without the other. Un until we find this middle ground, we cannot really press for progress because the only thing we will have is disparities where both parties bounce up and down the seesaw of the power tussle because this peer has no parity. So what do we really want? Women need to come together because right now from the corporate world to the home front, a woman's biggest problem is another woman. We are the one taking other women's husbands. We are the one being horrible bosses, the horrible illos, the widow oppressors. So don't tell me the problem is demand because without the cooperation of another woman, no man can get us down. That's how powerful we are if we really come together to press for progress. So yes, I'm sorry to say, this piece is not a battle of the sexes. Neither is it here to tell you to turn your lovers into exes, but if you will take your time and ponder on what this text is saying, you will realize that we might have misunderstood what really our vex is. Thank you.